Hey, what's up guys? My name is Nate, also known as Mewtwo Fan Nate, and welcome to another Draft League Wi-Fi battle in the PGBL, the Pokemon Global Battle League. Now, this is a playoff game. This this game just it determines if we get to move on and have our chance at winning a championship or if we just get kicked out right here, right now. So there's a lot on this game. Um, and since it, there's a, this could be the end of the New York Neubats in the PGBL, I just want to ask you guys, what was your favorite Pokemon that I that of my entire draft? So, uh, if you guys didn't didn't you know if you're just watching this now, um, there's a link, there's a playlist link uh, in the description of all the PGBL battles that we had this season. So make sure you guys go check them out. You guys can see the whole roster after you look through all the Pokemon. Come back to this video and let me know what was your favorite pick. Now. We did battle Viz already in the regular season, and I kind of figured that it would come down to us having uh, a game in the playoffs. So I, I kind of wanted to meme a little bit against him the first time, and I brought like a weakness policy, um, rock polish, Diancy against him, and it was, it was a fun game. You know, I kind of got smacked around a little bit, but it was all for memes, and I, I kind of didn't want to reveal some some better sets that I kind of wanted to use. So. Uh, so here we are battling Viz again, and he did change up his team. Uh, the last time he brought a Decidueye that had Tailwind and Life Orb, and it kind of bodied my whole team. This time he brought Swellow, and I didn't expect him to bring Swellow just because, in my opinion, Swellow didn't have like the best matchup between me having a Bronzong, Diancy, and a Tapu Koko. It just in my head, it was like, why would you bring that against me? I don't know. But either way, I think that uh, I have like a pretty good team this time around. Uh, I have a Babirberry Diancy, which is meant to live any kind of steel move, and then I can kind of just get up my rocks for free. And then I have a Toxic Orb Facade Zangoose, which just hits incredibly hard. We have a mixed uh, offensive Latias with Cassie Berry, I believe it is. So that way, that was meant for the um, Decidueye there, since it kind of bodied me last time. The. Um, and it also has Earthquake for the Heatran. Not that it's really uh, super duper important. The the uh, Serena is Choice Scarf. The Tapu Koko is Bulky with Shookaberry. And our Tornadus uh, is misgened. And uh, and it's not that it's misgen, but I forgot to change it. I was supposed to change it to Tailwind last minute, but I forgot to do it. And I didn't want to make Viz wait any longer. So it has Icy Wind this game. And... Um, without further ado, I'm just going to get into the game now. I kind of figured that he would want to start off with um either heatran or the glide score as one of his stealth rock setters so here uh he does show that he leads glide score and in his first game against me he stated that he wished that he would have brought taunt on his glide score so i kind of figured he was going to go for taunt on me but instead he just gets up his own rocks and me predicting him to click taunt against me, I just was gonna go for an attacking move. So I thinned power ice on this Diancy. So I decided I was just gonna just click it, just click it right away. And we can see that it does over half, which is really good. Now, uh, I could go for it again uh, and just knock him out, but I figured that I didn't want to um, potentially lose getting up uh, Stealth Rocks against this team because Stealth Rocks were really important for things like the Swallow. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that uh, we, we had, we, we were able to get those up because if something came in like Rotom and then maybe it would show leftovers. I, I thought that was important. So uh, we got up our rocks and he actually shows protect here. And now there was a little voice inside my head, it just speaking into my ears. And I was just thinking that, th and they were just telling me that he's probably n not gonna have U-turn because you have protect. Like why would you have protect and U-turn? Um, that there was maybe something missing uh and he has u-turn <laughs> so i kind of switched in my latias predicting him to only really have um earthquake and maybe like maybe toxic or something instead but uh now nope nope he he, he u-turns and he goes out into mega galade and now my galade is not max i mean my my latias is not max speed like his galade probably is so he's definitely going to be able to outspeed me and uh, just hurt something on my team. Now, there's really nothing on my team that wanted to switch into this thing. Uh, he's going to click knockoff. Now, I couldn't really switch into my Tapu Koko, which um, was kind of meant to take this thing on. 
But uh, the the reason why I didn't bring it in is because of the fact that um, like it it, it was it was more so like. I didn't want him to knock off my Sugar Berry and then click Earthquake, because he he can live in a Dazzling Gleam for me. So I didn't I didn't want to uh, just get my my Sugar Berry knocked off. So here I kind of predict him to switch out and I click U turn. I figured that he would not want his Mega Glade just to drop, to like a Hurricane. So uh, I predict his Rotom to to come in and I U turn out and I actually bring in my Zangus. Now the cool thing about um, by like the, those th like the stealth rocks and the U-turn damage, is I'm, I was able to see that he is leftovers, and because he's leftovers, uh, I know that he's going to be a little bit more bulky. He's not going to have a lot of speed, and I am going to be able to outspeed this um, this Rotom. And I was just going to planning. I was planning on clicking facade, and Heatran ends up coming in, and you guys can see that this does so much damage. G that is a that is a two a KO if I've ever seen one in, in my opinion I I could be wrong, but it looks like a two a KO from facade and I didn't expect him to be scarf though <laughs> he he caught me off guard with the scarf Heatran um I don't know I I just I, I don't I don't know why I just kind of figured maybe he was he, maybe he was gonna sack it off bring in like Hydreigon I I don't know. Just, but I didn't expect it to be Scarfed, and he ended up knocking me out. Now, even if I did predict him to be Scarfed, there was nothing on my team that would have taken that heat, like taking that overheat from a heat tran. Like it just anything on my team would have dropped at that point. So unfortunate, but um, I, I decided I was gonna bring in my Tornadus because he's at minus two, and it would kind of force him to switch out because he's at minus two, and he had a reliable switch into this anyway. And what I mean by reliable is. Uh, the Rotom, Rotom Wash. And as you guys can see that, I go for Z, uh, it's not Z Superpower, it's Z, her, um, Focus Blast, Z Focus Blast. And that does so much damage to the Rotom. And it brings him down to like, maybe like 25%, 15%, something 20, 20, 20, 15, I don't know. And that just puts it at a range where, range where I can click U-turn and knock it out. So, it's good for me. And I'm gonna think about who I want to go into here. And I figured that Tapu Koko just outsped most of everything on his team and had a pretty good matchup. Uh, bar the Heatran because it's Choice Scarfed. Even if it wasn't, like, I mean, if it was Choice, like, like, I figured that it would have threatened it out, like, at least, you know what I mean? Because after Stealth Rocks, it, it puts it into range where I could do hurtful things to it. So, we are able to, uh, Tank that a little bit. Go for a Volt Switch. Knock that boy out. <laughs> the Heat Twan. Heat Twan goes down. And uh, we're going to bring back our Top Coco. And I have to bring in Brad again. Now here he's going to bring out his Oof. Which is his Swallow. And Swallow takes rocks. Which is really, really good. And now he's going to knock me out with Facade. And that just kind of confirmed my worst fear. Because he's physical. Meaning that he's not special. Because um, Boom Burst. Specs Boom Burst. I have a chance to live. With my um, Serena. And uh, I can't live with Brave Bird though. <laughs> so I ended up bringing in my Dancing here. Because I figured it would kind of scare him out. Like, And, and here... Maybe, maybe it was a misplay. Maybe this was a misplay. I click Moon Blast instead of Hidden Power Ice. And that kind of lets my Diancy drop. I just, I didn't want him to bring in the, the Gallade, you know what I mean? Like, Rock type move. Oh, I'm a, I'm a Fighting type. I resist that. Like, I just, I don't know. So, I just go for Moon Blast. It was pretty, like, a neutral play. Uh, he's able to knock out my my Diancy there. I didn't really have anything else to, to take that. Like I could have predict, predicted him to go for Earthquake and switched into my um, my Serena, but the thing is though, like Serena, like I didn't want it to click. I didn't want him to click U-turn and then just get momentum on me. Like it just would it would have been a bad look. So here I kind of figured maybe he would go for maybe he go for U-turn, maybe 
Maybe if even if he did click Earthquake, uh, because of my Shuckaberry, maybe I'll end up at a higher amount of health than I was at. So I do click the, the Roost there, and after the Shuckaberry, I do get up to a little bit more health than what I was at than when I originally first came in and took the Rocks damage. So it's not that bad. Uh, and I, I click Hidden Power Ice, and we are going to be able to knock out the Yoink, the Goliath Score. So Glasscore goes down and out comes the, the Daedra, which is the Hydreigon. And Hydreigon, uh, since he brought it that way, I kind of know it's Choice Scarf. And it was Choice Scarf last time, so it just makes it just made sense against my team. Now here, I, I was kind of hoping that maybe he'll go for Fire Blast and miss uh, a couple times. Like, that was just like my only hope. But instead, he actually clicks, clicks Flash Cannon, or maybe that he was going to um, click Earth Power. Like, that was like the two things I was predicting. So... Uh, you guys can see that doesn't do over half to me, and I'm actually able to take another one. And I do have um, High Jump Kick, which actually could have knocked him out, especially after Rocks, but we miss! We miss! And I'll tell you guys why that is so important. And it's important because um, after the match, I found out that my Choice Scarf Serena and his Swell of Speed Tie. And had I just knocked out that hydreigon with high jump kick sacked off my tapu coco to the um to the mega glade brought in the serena again and i just could have clicked power whip killed the mega, uh, mega glade and then potentially won a speed tie with the swallow click power whip and knock that thing out that would have been a game that would have been the game and i would have won now, uh, I'm not salty at all. Like, I'm actually, like, I thought I played pretty well. Um, I think that uh, I definitely could have played better. Definitely could have prepped a little bit better. But overall, it was a close game. There was a chance that I could have won. But that's just how Pokemon works. That's just, um, you know, it's it's not that bad. And I think, I do think that the, bear, the better player won this time around. I don't think, um, I think, I think Viz is a lot better than I am as far as battling goes. Um, now, I just want to say, Thank you, thank you to you guys for watching, uh, and thank you to Viz for the nice uh, battle. I hope you go and you win this thing. I hope you beat whoever won their battle, and hopefully you beat that person, and you, you go and you take the whole thing, dude. Because uh, I think, I, I honestly think, I, I think you had the best team in this whole league, um, at least in my opinion. I, I thought your core between Keytrain and Gliscor was disgusting, and I think you deserved it. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys all later. And uh, that'll be it. All right, bye-bye.